Yo, what is up, bros? Welcome back to my channel today. We're diving into a topic that's a little bit different, a little bit spicy, and definitely going to get those comment sections fired up. We're talking about women in certain countries who are seeking white men. Now, before you jump to conclusions, hit that like button and let's explore this together. First up, we're heading to Northern Europe, to the Baltic state of Latvia. Think stunning coastlines, dense forests, and apparently a lot of single ladies looking for love. Latvia has a large female-to-male ratio, which some people say contributes to this trend. But it's not just about the numbers, right? Some argue that Latvian women are drawn to the perceived gentlemanly qualities of Western men. Others say it's about economic opportunity, with Western countries often seen as more prosperous. Whatever the reason, it's clear that there's something about Latvian culture and society that makes this phenomenon more prevalent. Next stop, we're heading south to the Balkans, to the beautiful country of Serbia. This landlocked nation is known for its rich history, diverse culture, and stunning natural landscapes. From the rolling hills and fertile plains to the majestic mountains and vibrant cities, Serbia offers a unique blend of the old and the new. Serbian women are known for their striking looks and strong family values. They often possess a unique blend of Eastern European beauty and a deep sense of tradition. Their commitment to family and cultural heritage is evident in their daily lives, making them not only beautiful, but also deeply rooted in their customs and traditions. But could historical factors be playing a role in their interest in white men? Serbia's history is a tapestry woven with threads from various empires and cultures. From the Byzantine and Ottoman empires to the Austro-Hungarian influence, Serbia has seen a myriad of cultural shifts and exchanges. Serbia has a long and complex history, with influences from both the East and West. This unique position has created a cultural melting pot where Eastern traditions meet Western modernity. The architecture, cuisine, and even the social norms reflect this blend, making Serbia a fascinating place to explore. Some argue that this has led to a certain fascination with Western culture, including a preference for white men. The younger generation in particular is increasingly exposed to Western media, fashion, and lifestyle, which might influence their preferences and aspirations. Of course, it's not that simple. The reasons behind personal preferences are multifaceted and can include a variety of social, cultural, and individual factors. It's essential to understand that each person's choices are influenced by their unique experiences and perspectives. Economic factors like higher salaries in Western countries might also be a driving force. Many Serbian women are highly educated and career-oriented, seeking opportunities that might not be readily available in their home country. The prospect of a better standard of living and financial stability can be a significant motivator. And let's not forget about personal preference. Love and attraction are deeply personal and can transcend cultural and geographical boundaries. Many Serbian women might simply find a genuine connection with someone from a different background, leading to meaningful and lasting relationships. Just like anywhere else in the world, love knows no boundaries. In the end, the heart wants what it wants and love can blossom in the most unexpected places. Whether influenced by cultural fascination, economic aspirations, or pure personal connection, the pursuit of love is a universal journey that transcends borders and unites us all. Now we're jetting off to Southeast Asia, to the land of smiles, Thailand. Thailand is a popular tourist destination known for its beautiful beaches, delicious food, and vibrant culture. But it's also a place where many Western men go to find love. Why is that? Well, some say it's because of the stereotype of Thai women being submissive and exotic. This is a harmful and inaccurate stereotype that needs to be challenged. It's important to remember that Thai women, like all women, are individuals with their own unique thoughts, feelings, and desires. Let's head back to Europe, this time to Bulgaria, a country with a rich history and a complex present. Nestled in the heart of the Balkans, Bulgaria is a land of contrasts, where ancient traditions meet modern aspirations. Bulgaria was under communist rule for decades, from 1946 to 1990, a period that shaped much of its modern identity. During this time, the state controlled many aspects of life, from the economy to personal relationships. Some argue that this has had a lasting impact on the country's social dynamics, including relationships. With the fall of communism in 1989, Bulgaria opened up to the West, embracing new political and economic systems. 
This transition was not without its challenges, but it also brought new opportunities. Exposure to different cultures and lifestyles became more common, influencing everything from fashion to food and even dating norms. Some Bulgarian women may be drawn to the perceived economic opportunities and personal freedoms associated with Western men. The allure of a different lifestyle, perhaps more liberal and financially stable, can be quite compelling. However, it's important to note that these choices are deeply personal and varied. While economic factors play a role, so do cultural influences and individual aspirations. But again, it's never just one thing, right? Cultural factors, personal preferences and individual circumstances all play a role. The blending of Eastern European traditions with Western influences creates a unique social fabric. In the end, the story of Bulgaria's transition from communism to capitalism is also a story of its people adapting, evolving, and finding new ways to connect in a rapidly changing world. Next up, we're heading to South America to the land of coffee, salsa, and stunning landscapes, Colombia. This vibrant country is known for its rich culture, diverse ecosystems, and warm-hearted people. Colombian women are known for their beauty, passion, and strong family values. They are often seen as the heart of the family, nurturing and maintaining close-knit relationships. But what is it about white men that some Colombian women find attractive? Is it just about appearances or is there something deeper at play? Some argue that it's a matter of cultural influence. The media often portrays Western men in a certain light, which can shape perceptions and preferences. Colombia, like many Latin American countries, has a long history of colonialism, which has left a lasting impact on its culture and society. This history has shaped its social hierarchy, influencing how people view themselves and others. This has led to a certain level of social stratification, where social status can often be linked to one's appearance and background. With lighter skin often being associated with higher social status, these perceptions can influence personal relationships and attractions. But let's be real bros, love and attraction are complex. They can't be boiled down to just one factor. Love is influenced by a myriad of elements, including personality, shared interests, and emotional connection. To say it's all about skin color is a massive oversimplification. People are drawn to each other for countless reasons, many of which are deeply personal and unique to each individual. And let's not forget the role of shared experiences. Enjoying a cup of Colombia's world-famous coffee together can be a bonding moment. Dancing the night away to the rhythm of salsa can create unforgettable memories and deepen connections. Sharing a meal, exploring the vibrant street food scene, and experiencing the local culture together can all play a part in building a relationship. Festivals and celebrations with their lively music and colorful traditions offer opportunities for people to come together and form lasting bonds. Exploring the breathtaking landscapes of Colombia, from its lush rainforest to its stunning beaches, can also bring people closer. Ultimately, relationships are about connection, understanding, and shared experiences. It's these moments that truly matter. So whether it's over a cup of coffee, a dance, or a shared adventure, the magic of Colombia can spark romances that are as warm and inviting as the country itself. Until next time, keep exploring, keep connecting, and keep discovering the beauty of love in all its forms. We're heading back to the Baltics, this time to Lithuania, a country known for its beautiful forests, charming towns, and you guessed it, stunning women. Lithuania, like Latvia, has a significant gender imbalance with more women than men. This, combined with historical factors and cultural influences, might contribute to the trend of Lithuanian women seeking relationships with white men. Some argue that Lithuanian women are drawn to the perceived stability and security of Western men. Others say it's about shared values and a desire for a different lifestyle. Our final destination takes us to Belarus, a country often referred to as Europe's last dictatorship. Belarus has a complex history and a unique social fabric. Some argue that the country's political climate and economic situation play a role in the trend of Belarusian women seeking relationships with white men. Western countries are often seen as offering greater opportunities and personal freedoms. But it's crucial to avoid making generalizations. Every Belarusian woman has her own reasons for seeking a partner, and it's important to respect their individual choices and circumstances. So, there you have it bros. 
Seven countries, countless perspectives, and one big, complicated conversation about love, culture, and society. Remember, these are just a few glimpses into a complex issue. It's important to approach these topics with sensitivity and respect, recognizing that generalizations can be harmful. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, hit subscribe for more content like this, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below.